Welcome to section two. This lecture is about modeling considerations in 3ds Max. Getting your model correct in 3ds Max will go a long way when we go into real time. So here's the basic model that we're going to use for the course. And it is just basically the shell of a building. We'll bring it in and start navigating around it in real time and then we'll bring in some other pieces of furniture and things like that to fill up our scene. And I'll let you guys do that mostly on your own after showing you how. This model will be available to you. Some things to consider about this model is A, that it's fully enclosed. That's an important part. If you're going to model this as just planes for the walls, then you need to make sure that everything overlaps and there's no gaps anywhere because you will have light leakage. So that's one thing to consider. When modeling for real time, obviously you want to keep things as simple as possible. That's why you have low poly models for video games and things like that. Although Unreal can actually handle some pretty heavy geometry I have found. But if your scenes are getting really big, you might start having problems. So other than that, these models are pretty simple. One thing you also need to consider is how you will have collisions on these objects. Since this is all one object in 3ds Max, this outer wall part, it will come in and it will want to put a collision on this whole thing as a giant box and therefore the inside of this building will be inside of the collision and that doesn't usually work very, very well. Of course you can always make custom collisions in Unreal and we'll get to that later. But that's one thing to consider. If this was one wall and that was another it would create a collision just for that wall and just for that wall and it would be open inside and you could run into these walls properly and that would work just fine. So you can do that as well. Let's make a new model, and I'll show you what you would need to do to make it ready for Unreal. It's pretty simple. The only thing you'd need to do to this model is, if you're going to bring it in separately, you would need to just make sure that the pivot of it is at 0, 0, so that when you bring it into Unreal Engine, the pivot will be right here on the object where you want it to be. If the object was over here, Unreal would put the pivot at 0, 0 here, and your object would be over here. So when you rotate and scale, everything will be kind of out of whack. So that's if you want to bring it in individually, because this building we're going to bring in all together, we can just drag it in the Unreal Editor into place, and everything will be in the correct place in relationship to each other. So that will be fine. As we bring in furniture later, we just need to make sure that it needs to be at 0, 0 as we export it. And we'll talk more about exporting in some of the upcoming videos. But for modeling, that's really all you need to consider. Well, there are some other things in 3ds Max that we need to consider before exporting, though. So let's talk about that in the next videos.